What's happening, what's happening, what's happening? The course you know it's your boy Behind Radio <laughs> Shout in as always. I got my podcast partner off in this thing. OG Gangsta Wicked, aka Big Gallus here. Get on my few. What's going on with? Man, I'm in the building, man. It's kind of early, but you know what I'm saying? I'm <laughs> I'm here with you. <laughs> I mean, so you mean to tell me three o'clock in the evening is early to you? Yeah, I just got in at 12. You know what I'm saying? What you talking about? I only came, I only came because of our guest today. I didn't come because of you. Oh, you know what? You are just the worst every time, okay? Our guest is an A-Town legend, a friend and family member of the show. Some know him as Slick Puller, but he's going by now Script Puller in this thing. Yeah, What's good man. with it, boss? Hey, man, everything's good. Hello, yeah, you know, we just brewing, letting it brew up. You exactly, feel me? Yeah. man. I mean, Script, talk to me, though, man. Man, since the last time we talked, I'm glad to see you still out here doing your thing and making it do what it's supposed to, man. Mm-hmm. I mean, mm-hmm. you was coming home, now you out here just ten toes down in the yeah. game. How's that been for you, boss? Hey, man, it's just been a, you know, constant grind, staying down, elevating, you know, you know, staying out the way and sticking to the, you know, saying sticking the to the script. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Exactly. As we can see, man, it's getting fiery on both sides. You know, so I'm just trying to walk that little narrow road. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Straighten up my face car, straighten up my iniquity tab, and you know yeah. what I'm saying? Make make people consider. You know what I'm saying? I can't just really just off the rip get you to jump on this, but I can tell you something that make that um that. But that can make you consider, exactly. think about what's going on, and also think about what you're doing. Then you got a decision. Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? Come on. Yeah, so that's the move. You feel me? I mean, you know, we've been celebrating 50 years of hip-hop in this yeah. thing, though, Scrip. I mean, for you, man, how do you feel about hip-hop now versus how you was using it back then to how you're using it now to save souls? I mean, we can see, like, um, you know, hip-hop started out, like, from a griot perspective, mm-hmm. information. So when hip hop first started out, it was informative, and then you know what I'm saying. Um, you know, every time we start something, we start letting the um, vultures get in, the moochers who want to try to take something and just make it be about mooching, make it be about bread. So over time, it start turned to some subliminal agenda pushing. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But see, the adversary he gonna come through them tunes. Yeah. See, it can sound good, but but what is feeding you? really could not be good, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. once that happened, we began with that phase. Now we're in a phase where, like, it's real crazy. And I so the 50 years of hip-hop, you know what I'm saying? Um, we seen something start off beautiful, and now we're in a situation where it's like um, some resuscitation, some recovery needs to happen. Yeah. Because right now what's being pushed is not fruitful. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's like it can't help you. Yeah. It can't. It can't save you. It can't really get you to nowhere where you want to be. You That's know what right. I'm saying? What's you know what I'm saying? You you gotta been done done something where you don't risk your life to even be hot now. Mm-hmm. You might can't even really get on if you ain't got a body now. My God. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, it's terrible. First it just had to be some nice music. Now it got to be fight. Um, it got to be beach production and some yeah. and some and some suicide with it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Us, you might want to even be heard. My God. So now, for you, though, Scrip, you got new music out right now as we speak going crazy, man. I yeah, mean, Scrip yeah. to die. Scrip or die. Scrip or die. Yeah. Talk to me, man, putting that thing together. And what was it that made you call it Scrip or die? Because that's kind of like what it really is, whether a person wants to believe it or not. You know, when I read that code of ethics, you know what I'm saying? It's it's fruitful. It's the ways to live in there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It showed me the all the things to watch out for, from, from from even some of the things I was talking about to you just then. Yeah. Also to what happened in the past and the what's to come. Mm-hmm. So it was like, really, man, if you ain't really if you ain't in them scrolls, you kind of blind to the um ills of this world. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because this world as a whole, just like the movie, it's a matrix, and 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 and. It kind of decode that for you, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But we don't got throw throw or throw with so many choices and so many debates about this and about that, and it even say that in the scrolls that it'll be debates about this and about that. That's how I know what's happening. Yeah, because it's saying it'll be debates about that. People are not gonna want to drink this. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It say people will forsake this for what people call knowledge, yeah. what they think is knowledge, and that way that's how they gonna check out. That's how it's going to be their downfall because they're going to something what they think is knowledge. Yeah. And they're ignoring the fruit that's right before them. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? Exactly. So that's where we at with it, man. You got to be, 
Hey, man, the answers, man. You know what I'm saying? Either you're going to drink the water or you're going to be thirsty and then dehydrate. Exactly. Uh, Cuzzo, Spody, how's he doing, man? Yeah, man, he doing good all as well, all as okay. well with him. Mm-hmm. Okay, bet yeah. it up. Yeah. So answer me this, man, because I know both of y'all have had uh, stints in prison. Mm-hmm. How do you feel like that impacted your life? going in and out over these years, man. And what do you think has changed between the times that you found yourself going in and out to now to where you've been out being productive and moving the culture forward? I mean, the main thing that made me realize is um, the more you kind of go through situations like that, the less uh, the less what you say can be held valid until you start showing, you know what I'm yeah. saying, that you ain't rid of that no more. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's like every time it's like, you building a um, you building a card for yourself yeah. every time. Boom, boom, boom. So now when you switch up off of that, you gotta um, you gotta shed them layers. Mm-hmm. You know, some people got you really gotta walk it and talk it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You really gotta walk it and talk. You really just gotta show something. You know what I'm saying? You really it's about showing that you're not on that no more. You know, yeah. and 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 staying down and sticking to that. For those that's watching that want to make that change in their life, though, script. Mm-hmm. How the hell did they do it? What were the first steps that you took to change your life and turn that thing all the way around, sir? Well, should I start really seeing, um, as I was getting deep into the scrolls, I started really seeing what top chefing was mm. and what and what we call in top chefing is really bottom feeding. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Once I began to see, like, all the things that we was caught up in and we was putting first yeah. was actually trash. Mm. Mm. It was nothing. We, you know what I'm saying? You're not denying yourself or nothing. You're accepting everything. You let nothing get by you. You know what I'm saying? But you're talking about your top chefing. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Top, you know what I'm saying? No standard, no code of ethics. But you're saying you do, but you're going for anything. You're going for anything and doing anything. Yeah. But then you're telling folks you got standards. Mm. Standards. Standing on something. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, first of all, you got to re- um, first of all, you got to realize that. What you doing? You ain't talking about nothing. Yeah. That ain't talking about nothing, man. Your bottom fiend, man. Yeah. You think you, you think you're bigging it up, man. You're really shrimping it up, man. Your bottom fiend. You know that bottom. First, you got to realize that and really believe that, really accept that. Yeah. That, hey, man. A lot of stuff you doing, was you, you thought yeah. was a movie, was straight trash. Exactly. And then, then you have to say, okay, well, how can I get to the things where 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 um I'm reaching for something better? Mm-hmm. And then you got to analyze that and then start taking that route. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When you think about your early days in hip hop, though, man, I mean, them CTE days, them Jeezy days, them musical days when y'all was, you know, tearing up the streets with some good ass music at the same time. How do you feel about that slick puller back then versus script puller today? What are the main differences between uh, him and you now? And what would you go back and tell young uh, slick? What would script go back and tell slick back then, man? Well, shoot, like I say, and. In them times, a lot of stuff was going on. Thought it was some top chef stuff uh, going on, but it really was some bottom fiend. Okay. But it was all to get me to where I'm at today, though. You, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So, you know, the good and the bad for his will, yeah. as I said before. You know what I'm saying? And so, or what I would um, or tell myself then, but pay attention to more. You know what I'm saying? But see, you, but see, you really can't say what you tell yourself then because when you, you know what I'm saying? It's like when you in it, you survive. When you in it, you in it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you got to step back and consider. Yeah. So sometimes when you out here doing what you're doing in life, sometimes step back and consider. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And step back and consider your ways. Is this really fruitful? Mm-hmm. Is this really helping? Like, 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 is this a good seed I'm dropping or is it a bad seed that I'm dropping? You got to really consider those things. That's the only way that's, um, you got to put your moral compass on. That's the only way you're going to really be able to really just see if you're doing something right or wrong. You got to sit back and look at your works. I mean, I got to ask this question, though, Skrill. Do you ever listen to any of your old music, or do you hate all that shit? I don't hate none of it. I don't hate, you know what I'm saying? I don't hate none of it. You know what I'm saying? Um, Because you had some shit, sir. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. I look at it. I like what I do now, because guess what? Yeah. No cursing in it. Like, like, like not. uh, Now I know that I've really extended my vocabulary. Yeah. uh, 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 what the scrolls had done to me was make it be where I can say something and all of it makes sense. Like, like really, when you're throwing curse words in there, it's like, that's just a word to be in there. Like, I I really didn't know what to say. Yeah. It might have rhymed, but what does this word mean? So now what So now what the water doing to me now is every word that I'm saying is making sense. Mm. Every word. Yeah. 
every word. Like each line is now lining up to each line is lining up to something. Mm-hmm. It ain't like a part of there where I'm <coughs> just do something in there just to keep it going. You know no, what I'm saying? I'm with you. Everything I'm with you. lining up now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But see, he got me doing that. Y'all got me doing that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? At first, you know, you be flowing there a little bit, then you just throw something in it to keep it going. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, first thing you know is the person who probably listening to it, he in the same mode. He just going with it too. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So now I can drop something in there and and have somebody going, and then one day they'll be, you know what I'm saying? Even if they're not listening, we coming on the kind of beats where they're like this, and, and, and then they get to listen. Hold on, man. Hold on, just said. You know what I'm saying? You dropping mm. seeds, so, you know what I'm saying? You really teaching them. Yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. We get in here because I can tell yeah. you just couldn't wait. Well, I'm listening to him, and I don't know if I'm older than him or not. I'm well. I ain't gonna say my age. Yes, you is, nigga. But uh, this is what I want to say to you, and uh, after I'm through with it, you follow me for a minute and YouTube be high. As coming from a child of a a preacher, my mother is evangelist. Yeah. Um, so I had a lot of different ideologies growing up mm-hmm. on what I thought was right, what I thought was wrong, what I thought was positive, what I thought was negative. Mm-hmm. I will say this to you. Your past positive and negative energy don't exist without each other. Night and day don't exist without each other. On and off don't exist without each other. I would say your past... And your present, your 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 past, your present needed it, so mm-hmm. they never run away from it. Mm-hmm. I said this to um, uh, to your boy when we was up here with uh, Andre uh, Andre and um, Big D. Big no 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 uh, Alpha Omega. Alpha Omega. He was yeah. saying the same thing. I said that your past is necessary because th- you have to talk that past. You have to speak that past. Exists not a runner from it because a lot of people that live in your past now. And your your present now will bring them out of that past. Mm-hmm. So I, I hear when he asks you about, you know what I'm saying, your old music and, and where you came from, it's kinda almost like like I that's the part I wanted to hear. See, Beehive wants to hear now, you know, a lot of people want to hear what's going on right now with you, mm-hmm. where you come from. But I want to hear like it was, what was it, uh, you know, back then, what was that like, and how did you get here? Because maybe I'm still back there where you at, mm-hmm. and I need you to guide me up out of it. Mm-hmm. So I say that to just say that, you know, and I said that for Megan. That's all yeah. I was trying to get, because, you know, I was calling my lead. Yeah. So I was. I say that to say that, you know, when somebody asks you about that past, uh, and I get it. You know what I'm saying? Nobody wants to dwell on it. I'm not doing music right now while I say, you know, I'm running up the car, still selling dimes, or, or you know, I'm, I'm still, we tying folks up, or we, you know, we stealing out the store and we're in the fifth and sixth grade. Mm-hmm. We're not doing that anymore. But my son is. Mm-hmm. And, and he can identify with a slick pull of where you have come from. So now I can use your story as an example. He may not listen to me, but he listens to you. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? I can say, look, see, this is where slick came from right here. See, he's, te- he's, te- he's telling us this word. Everything that I'm telling you, the guy that you look up to, he's telling you the same thing right now. Mm-hmm. But if you run away from that message right now, because of where you think you are now, you let a lot of people down that needed to hear it. Right. Right. I did exactly what you're saying. And see, that's what the message is all in the music. Mm-hmm. See, 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 I'm talking about the past. I'm not just talking from a, a point because see, I'm urban, you know, you know, so I'm urban, urban serving. serving with it. Yeah. Right. So meaning... I'm talking it from a trench perspective. Like, okay. um, used to be a slickster, now they call me script me. Right. You know mm, what I'm saying? Right. Like, 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 I'm letting it be known that I used to do that. I had to shed it off. Mm-hmm. That old skin had to scrub it off. Mm-hmm. See, it's all about Boss. refinement. Right. It's all about refinement. You just got to tune in. Right. 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 But also, you got to put that old man on that, you got to put that old man on that altar all the way. That's right. Mm. Like, meaning, like, like he said he want a whole burnt offering, meaning let that old man die. Mm. He's saying, see, 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 people thinking about some meat. He's talking about, uh, he won't say whole burnt offering, meaning I want you to put that whole man up there, that whole old man up there and burn him off. I want none of him. So that's why a lot of times I don't really do much talking about it. Mm-hmm. When you tune in and listen to the music, then that's when you can get those gems. Mm-hmm. If you're mm-hmm. really seeking that, then, hey, seek the, you know, you know what I'm saying, seek the vibe. It's the same mm-hmm. kind of beats. Yeah. Same kind of love, you know what I'm saying? Instead of spinning with slugs, we spinning with love now. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We hitting, we hitting them with the manta ray. So, see, you got to put the whole burnt offering on there. So, reason why a lot of times I just, 
I speak on it, and then I let the walk, because everybody know who I am. Right. You know, so everybody know what I was about and what I would do. So mm -hmm. I just try to just really walk it. You know what I'm saying? More than anything. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I don't, but, but my whole thing, that whole man got to go up there. Mm -hmm. So like if the whole man go up there, if I put the whole man on the fire, what I'm reaching back in the fire for um grabbing remains of him. Mm. Okay. He he wants yeah. a whole burn off for real. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well now both of y'all just snapped and I enjoyed it. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, you, you know, know me behind. I, my, you know, I'm 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 more into when I talk to people. Well, hold on, I hate to cut y'all, but I deal with the same shit out of him. Script, okay? Mm -hmm. You know him as Wicked the Ghetto Mafia. Yeah. Well, I have to deal with Galaxy Wicked every platform day. Platform Okay. He he didn't he didn't change his whole damn name. Uh, I enjoy the Ghetto Mafia music. He tells me to go to hell. You're getting this Galaxy music that I'm about to give your ass right now. Right. So he totally identifies with what the hell you talking about. <laughs> right. But I'm tired of both of y'all shit. <laughs> give me the whole shit back. <laughs> yeah, he just, he, just, he just talked about the day right before you came and stuff. And I and I do the same thing that you know mm. that uh, that kind of you doing. But I I try to to understand what Bha just saying and 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 lots of other people. I say, well, you know what, I can't. You know, just you know, go run in a corner and hide, or you know, what I'm saying hide behind matching walls with a Bible. When there's people out here that needed to hear, you know, what I'm saying wicked instead of the new galaxy stuff. Uh, I have to trick my son into taking his vegetables by getting him food that's bad for him. You know, what I'm saying so. Um, my thing is, I just don't want you to get into a point to where now, now you're you're detached. Uh, from the from the from the people that used to be you, I know you're building a, a you, you're running with a whole new circle of people, mm -hmm. but and a circle uh, and I, I, an ideology. I don't even want to say people in the physical form, but the ideology that you're running with, because that's all it really is. Well, see, also, and I hate to cut you off so bad, Wick, but at the ages we at now, the stuff, the slick that was running the streets, cranking stuff up, a lot of these jokers weren't even born. Right. So they don't have a clue. They, they'll they just see you as somebody that's preaching to them, and then they got to do the research. But we try to use this platform so that you can readily identify with them folks. They can come on in, and we can convert them over to what you got going on now. It, exactly, Dennis. And then actually, it's not about just talking it in their head. Like 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 with my elect functional training, you you know, I do strength and conditioning for youth for youth athletes, so I'm in high schools and middle yeah. schools mm -hmm. all day long. Like, mm -hmm. I'm not anywhere saying, hey, do this and do that. I'm walking it. Walk exactly. it yeah. I'm walking it. When folk can see, hey, man, why bro move like this? Why bro move like this? Then it makes them consider. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. I know that's not how you're going to get it. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. not how it's supposed to be given. The, the instructions won't even to give it like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's what, see, 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 see religion was to give it like that. Mm -hmm. He like, let your light shine. Mm -hmm. Meaning, how am I let it shine? Covered up in the house. He said, don't put a shade on the light. So, like, I'm out and about moving peacefully, not doing none of the things that I used to do. Yeah. That'll make a person consider, dog, oh, man, Coach Script, cool. Yeah. Um, especially when they be like, hey, man, you know, that used to be slick. Who yeah. Coach Script? That used to be slick. And then they look, oh, man. Yeah. It's inspiration. I'm up at Kip High School, like, two or three times out of the week. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You've... I focus on training youth athletes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like like strength and conditioning for youth athletes. I have adult clients as well, yeah. but most of my clients are youth athletes. They <laughs> exactly. play football, they play basketball, because the style of training I do, it gives you where you can do the movements fluently on mm -hmm. the football field or the basketball court. You exactly. know what I'm saying? Yeah.